morning guys welcome back to the channel so this week's vlogs uh, little bits of bits and pieces of what we've been doing over the last few weeks so we started off meeting some friends um, Greg Virgo and Lou who I'm sure you all know a lovely campsite on our way to the South Central Self Builders meet we hope you enjoy this little bit of compilation and uh, don't forget like subscribe and give us a thumbs up well good morning welcome back to the channel we've come to Salisbury caravan and camping club site um, met up with a couple of friends here um, Greg Virgo and Lou because we're on our way down to the South Central self builders meetup um, it's a great event where uh, people who are just starting their conversions or uh, are halfway through or even need a little bit of expert advice for electrics and plumbing and gas and whatever it may be um, to come down and get help um, and advice off the experts um, this weekend there's things going on like uh, new windows fitting so we're hoping that the rain stays away because it's been absolutely terrible the last couple of days but yeah we're gonna go down there uh, meet again some more friends like-minded people uh, in the middle of a field but just before we set off I thought I'd show you uh, around the Salisbury caravan and camping club site just give you a quick look I'm not gonna do a, a full review but let's go and have a look so like I said it's not a full site review um, we've only been here two nights we arrived actually quite late coming up from um, an interview we was doing with Coachville GB that's a, another vlog to come out in the future we're actually documenting a full conversion of a brand new customers motorhome but lovely little site it was really peaceful you can hear all the birds twittering away in the background great night's sleep but yeah we'll definitely come back here um, we did notice on the welcome pack that they spoke about accessibility and gave us a little piece of paper how to get into Salisbury Town Centre what directions but on there it said if you're in a pushchair wheelchair or have limited mobility there was actually a different route to go so I thought that was quite nice good information so there's two facilities blocks I'm not going to go in because uh, it is early in the morning and people are doing their ablutions at the moment but I'm doing the site in sort of reverse order so this is the second one So this is the first facilities block and as you can see they do have disabled facilities so shower and toilet in there it's all key coded so on a arrival you do get your welcome pack with the Wi-Fi code and the code for the facilities blocks you also have a motorhome drive over point for your waste and your refill of water etc but just look at those views you can imagine on a summer's day how far you can actually look down there the camera's not giving it justice but again you've got the entrance to the site there reception and just beyond the gate you have the rubbish facilities so the first thing you notice from this particular site is its location it's quite a misty morning but as you can see it's got views for miles so yeah lovely quiet location The pitches are hard standing, there are some grass pitches but not in use at the moment but 
they are on a bit of a slant so as you can see with our van just there we've really had to use the leveling legs and you can see by how much the front wheels are off the ground how unlevel our particular pitch is but again that's the reason we got the leveling legs so we always make sure that when we deploy the wheelchair cassette lift it comes down straight and doesn't get bent and twisted so this was our park up for last night and we had a lovely meal in there the uh, staff and the owners were superb the car park is directly across the road as you can see we're there followed by Womble in Womble Greg Virgo and right at the end Little Will Little Man Adventures there is electric hookup and I think it was six pound which we didn't pay but there's also water and a water filling point in the car park there which obviously is free of charge so we had a quite a peaceful rest last night decent sleep in the van uh, we came out of the pub quite early um, when it shut the rest of the patrons come out and was a little bit noisy but yeah come half past 11 we had a good sleep but we're about six minutes from the showground for the South Central Self Builders meetup, so it was a quite convenient location to stop. So we're going to jump in the van and we're going to head off. So to the south. there we are. We've arrived at the South Central Self Builders meetup, and there's quite a few here. Well, what a great weekend here at South Central Self Builders meetup. 130 plus vans turned up and lots of work got carried out diesel heaters fitted for people solar panels electrics done and that's what it's all about like-minded people getting together and helping each other out but it's absolutely packed as you can still see still loads of vans here great weekend great camaraderie loved it great show guys thanks very much and we'll see you on the next one well good morning we've moved on from the South Central self builders meetup which was a great success um, over 130 vans probably the biggest event they've held and uh, lots of work went on and that's what it's all about it's about the van life community getting together and helping each other out and that's what the self central self builders is all about uh, i mean we love going for the camaraderie and it's just a, a really good meetup you can find it on a Facebook group, so just search for South Central Self Builders, join the group and uh, put your name down for the next one. So we're currently at a pub stopover again and we had a great night in the pub last night uh, playing Uno and having a few drinks with uh, some great friends. Rainbow over the lake really really nice pub and the welcome we got was brilliant as well but yeah everyone's still here so little man adventures wombling womble greg virgo and we've also got greg too joined us last night but the pub's in a great location and it's called the Rainbow Over the Lake. 
because again I don't know if you can see behind me but there's a big lake I can imagine in the summer that this would be absolutely stunning I'll just give you a quick spin round and there's the pub itself So this morning we're off to Coachbuilt GB to do a little bit more filming on the van and that vlog will be out in a few weeks but I'm sorry we didn't film too much at the meetup but the weather was a bit atrocious it was freezing cold we had lots of wind lots of rain but we still had a great time so on that note guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share it if you can, and please leave us a comment. We'll see you on the next one.